just took five dollars out of base. And good morning. How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day wherever you are in the big wide world. We're back, we're live, we're streaming once again. I accidentally started a game. I wasn't intending to, but I did start a game. So we are gonna play some blitz to start out the stream. You guys, we can hear the moves exactly, you guys. There should be no delay. So um yeah, sorry about that. I just I started up a game started a game, and that's that. So let's go to 97. Probably I'll play C5. We're gonna play classic French defense here. And go from go from there. Start early. Yeah, that was not the intention, of course. Um, now I can go to F8 or E7. I think I'm gonna go to F8. I don't know if it makes a difference which square I go to, but I will start from here. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Of course, this is the start of a new week. So let's just play C5 here. I'm gonna play A5, maybe A4, maybe B6, Bishop A6. Hard to judge what my plan will be. I think I'll base it off of how he develops his pieces here on the king side so he goes f4 so i'm going to play a4 let's go knight c6 here maybe knight a5 is a move maybe not again he plays g4 which i think is wrong because of h5 but i could be wrong on that of course so he takes now i could obviously take the pawn if i want to i don't think i actually want to so i'm gonna go knight b6 maybe knight a5 here he can go knight g3 to guard the pawn of course um but we'll, we'll go from there Sack the queen, unlikely. Thank you so much, shoot Cube Craze for the nine months. Thank you, Tiptronics. Thank you so much, Stuckfish. Thank you, Decodes for the ten as well. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. What is my opinions on the problems in the banking system? Um, I'll talk about it a little bit later on. Not right now. Um, I'm gonna go knight b3 to hit the hit the uh, the rook and the bishop. Now I could obviously trade knight c4 is also an interesting move here, and I think I'm gonna play it because if white trades, I take and then I have b5 and open up scope on this diagonal. If he trades, doesn't have bishop e3, so these knights are pretty well placed here. Did I check the stream rewards? I saw a little bit. I'll talk about that a little bit later on as well. But since I had an opponent who was ready to just play Blitz from the get-go, I kind of feel like I, I should just play Blitz. Because it's very hard, honestly, these days to um to get games. Now, maybe B6, Bishop A6 was better than B5, but whatever. Who cares? Um, Now, I could trade. I could also play B4 here. I think I'm just going to go B4. Not worried. If he takes, I take. If he takes, I take again. I open up the scope. So I should be pretty happy here. So I'll pre-move this. Uh, why is it hard to get games frankly because my rating is so high that it's just it's tough that's what that's all i gotta say it's tough eight ads wow well i'm sorry you guys i'm not hitting the ad button that is on twitch so if you want to be mad at anybody be mad at twitch so let's take the pawn on a3 takes now i think i'm gonna go queen a5 here maybe i kind of want to take i also want to go bishop a6 it's a hard position to judge in general terms as far as what's going on here but i think i'm okay success indeed indeed okay now bishop c5 is a move bishop b7 also a very logical move. queen c3 also a move with queen d3 i think i'm gonna go bishop b7 though it looks like the right move here just to open up the scope i can still capture the pawn c3 is weak it feels decent if he takes i have bishop a6 to win the rook on f1 14 11 here yes yeah it's hard to get games so the fact that jordan van force a very strong player from the netherlands just was ready to play blitz i mean I'd have to be insane not to. So if I take what's going on, I could have played bishop c5 too, but I think queen c3 is right. There's no rook c1 because I capture the juicer. I take, if knight g5, I have bishop c5. Still no rook c1. I mean, the bishops are really coming to life here on the diag, so I assume I'm doing well, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, knight g5, so I can obviously play bishop c5 if I want to. Queen d3 also a move. <clears throat> Bishop c5 looks correct, although wait. Wait. If I take, there's queen f2. Wait, I need to be a little bit careful how I play here. Bishop d5 also. Move. Queen f queen e3 is also a move potentially. Don't love it. Queen d3. Queen d3, queen g. I'm just gonna play queen d3 to trade the queens here. Okay, now I'm gonna uh castrol here. Oh, did I just blunder? I did actually just blunder. Whoops. I thought I had a mate with queen d5, but I don't. So let's just sack everything here. D1, good move, which I missed, of course. Uh, yeah, I completely misplayed this, unfortunately. So off to a great start, of course. Oh, I thought I, I thought I had queen d5, but the h1 square was just covered. A very, very poor start. Um, okay, let's just... I guess I'll just take and take. Let's go for this. Probably is no good. Actually, it is just no good. What, what am I even doing? Uh, let's just go here. I mean, there's bishop c5, I guess. I mean, I'm obviously just lost here, but... Just keep playing on. Um, rook d6, also a good move. Yeah, 
I completely bungled this. Also, somehow I'm down a clock, I just realized, too. I was okay somewhere. Yeah, I misplayed this. I, I was okay, but... Yeah, just... just uh, let's go here, maybe? No, let's just lose this. Yeah, just lose this. Very bad first game. Actually, no. I want to take a look at that game for a second. Let me pull this up. Um, no, not that one. No, I want to see, because I, I was definitely better for a brief period, and I messed it up. Or maybe chess.com won't show me the game. Wait, what? Okay, there. Let me just take one quick look. Queen d3 was the move. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go again. Let's play knight c3 this time. Thank you so much. Low likes. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Let's play e4 here. Play a Vienna. Probably e5. Now, I could play f4. I did a video on the Vienna very recently. I'm on YouTube, so could play it, but I'm just going to play d3, queen f3, and say keep it simple. Thanks so much, Martin, for the 15 months. Let's go queen f3, queen g3. Um, I guess I'll play h3, stop, bishop g4. Not necessary, but just, just a prophylactic move. Uh, thank you so much at Debra for the prime. Thanks for Debra. A4, A3, both playable. Let's play A3 here. Oh, what's my opponent's flag? That is the Netherlands. Uh, he's he's a Dutch player. It's Jordan Van Forst. Not Jordan, of course, because Jordan was, uh, was the best basketball player of all time. Let's play Knight G3 here. How come so early? I stream at 9 a.m. Uh, on Mondays, but Mondays alone. Otherwise, I start later on. Thank you so much to B-Boat Cam for the Tier 1. BJ Austin, you know, Imerson. Thank you so much. JD Rack as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, we get g6. Um, castles is fine. Bishop e3 is fine. I think I'm just going to castle. No reason not to. Go here. Trade some b-shops. Although now black can't actually castle without hanging a pawn, so I should be doing well. Um, let's go here. b3 or a2. I don't know which one's right. Don't really care either way. Um, so I'll just go here in 92 maybe. Knight c e2 or queen d2 are both moves. Queen d2 has merit also. Knight g2 has merit. I mean, so many options here. Um, I think I'm going to move with this knight. I don't know if this is the right knight to put on e2. But I want to play for d4, f4. And I figure the knight still has jumps here. Hard to judge which knight was the right knight to put on e2. Uh, thank you so much to Chicago. Chris, thank you, to, uh, thank you so much to hat, bet, hat backwards with a 17. And UM Lola as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. How many matches with Jordan? Uh, quite a few, hopefully. I mean, I'm not playing for the rating. I'm just playing because I enjoy. But so this is just a mistake. Maybe it's not. Wait, takes. Ta yeah, I just. Do I take? Wait, 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 wait a second. Takes? Wait a second. Oh, he, he just resigns. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go again. Let's play the classic McCutcheon French. I'll play h6. Oh, now he goes bishop d2. Okay, let's trade. I'll go knight e4, of course. Okay, c5. Why do you resign? Because I just take the bishop, but I'm up a piece. And I was a little confused, and I think he was like, wait a second, what am I doing as well? So, okay, so this is the classic McCutcheon and the French. Trying to remember the correct line here. It's been a long time since I've played this opening. Um, queen a5 is a move. It's not the best move. So I'm going to go knight c6 of f3. I'll go knight g5. H4, knight, H7. Again, the show goes on. Why didn't I play knight takes C3 in which position? Now, I could play queen A5 here. Um, what am I missing here? Wait. Because here I take and the knight guards the queen. Is it rook H3? Wait, I'm a little confused by this. Bishop D2. So I can obviously trade now if I want. B6 also a pretty solid move. Bishop d7, rook c8, also decent. Um, I'm just going to go bishop d7. He'll probably play f3. We trade. And then I go rook c8, and the show goes on. Uh, named after the famous Ferdinand La McCutcheon. I didn't know that, actually. Let's go rook c8. I feel like I'm a little bit better here. Not like winning or anything, but maybe a little bit better here. I feel like playing a French opening today, so do something different. Because I play so many... Wait, takes, takes, knight before, c3. There's nothing there. F6 obviously is a move here. Hmm. 97 also reasonable. So I'm just going to go 97, maybe bishop a4, maybe bishop b5. A lot of different possibilities here. Thank you so much. It shows up for the prime 23 XPR as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, b5 and b takes a4 is a very interesting idea. I think I'm just going to do it. If he takes, I take. I'm going to end up up a pawn here. Now, it's a double pawn, so it's not special, but it's still a game. 
Jordan Van Forest rating is 29.65. Blitz, he's very underrated. But again, I just want to play Blitz. Also, there is a qualifier for to the um, to the Chess Champions Tour later today, which I assume Jordan is playing, which is why he wants to play a lot of Blitz. Um, so yeah, so I will be playing quite a few games. I'm not playing for rating, but I'm playing mainly because I want to play some Blitz. Also, because frankly, we are I am playing this tournament called America's Cup in a couple of days, so I should also be trying to warm up for that event as well. So. Queen c5 or, or rook c5? Both are playable here. My gut says rook c5 is correct. Just my intuition. But on the other hand, queen takes c5 gives me a 3. I'm going to trust my intuition and take with the rook. Just trusting my intuition, the queen on c7 is better place. I have knight f5 here. Knight d4, I just take. Okay, rook b4. Uh, let's go queen c7. Hit the pawns everywhere. And I'm going to castle next move. I have a5 also. I mean, I should be better here. Whether this is anything special or not remains to be seen, but it looks pretty good for me. Knight takes c3 is missed. No, no, no. I didn't miss knight takes... If you're talking about knight takes c3 way back in the opening, no, I did not miss it, you guys. Uh, it was not a good move. Now, I assume I just... Well, I assume I just castle and play... Go for the triple stack. Rook b7, I take, of course. Okay, three. Okay, now I assume there's rook c8. Line up the triple stack here. This looks very, very good for me. No g5 to knight f5. Pretty ugly position. He goes knight d4, which does hang upon on c3 potentially. I could also play a5, takes, takes rook b7, a3, takes a2. I think that works. Let's go a5, attack the rook. Now I think I can trade it all down. If I take, 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 rook b7, a3, yeah, this works. This works. Because now the pawn is too fast. I have a3, a2, which just wins the game. Which is why the pawn on a5 is important, because if we go back to this position, if the pawn's on a7, he can take and go back. But now a3, a2 should just be winning unless I'm crazy. If pawn was on a7, he could just take and stop it. But because I kicked the rook with the, with the squeeze with a5, now it's just winning. A pawn is a queen, yeah. This should be winning for me unless I'm missing something. But very instructive because, see, here I have the same thing where I could take. But with the pawn on a7, he can come behind and, and stop it. But here he can't. Okay, rook b8. Now bishop c8 is fine. Rook c8 is completely fine as well. I mean, this must be winning. If this isn't winning, I don't know what, what I'm playing for. Oh, I allowed rook b3. Uh, I allowed rook b3. That was kind of stupid. Um, oh, that was actually really quite stupid of me. But... And I'm low on time, too. What the heck? Okay, I gotta move quicker. Hmm. Oops. Oh, from a draw. Oh, what was that? That was just a sl Oh my gosh, what the heck? I lost like two seconds trying to offer him a draw. I lost two seconds trying to offer him a draw there. How do I turn off the, I got I have to turn that off. Uh, draw, how do, how do you turn that off? I lost like two seconds trying to offer him the draw there. I don't know if you guys saw it on the screen, but when I, how do you turn it off? Play, um, I think you turn, is it, do you turn off confirm? Yeah, I should have won that game, but how do you turn it off? Because it, it kept, it was asking me if I take the draw. You, you didn't see it? Yeah, it, it basically asked me. I, it, I was like clicking the draw. And it's like you have to confirm to offer the draw. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Because I should have won that game. Go C3 and Queen E2 here. Uh, I'll play 95 and trade. Is FRCC the biggest tournament? 
Yeah. No, normally it, it doesn't ask, but see, like, if I click draw, it's going to... No, but now if I click it, I bet it's going to... If I click draw, is it going to... If I click draw, is it going to offer the draw or not? I should see. Let's play queen g4. Yeah, see, you see it. Now it pops up. Why? How do you get rid of this pop-up for, like, offering a draw? Does anybody know how I'm supposed to get rid of that? Um... You don't know, but normally if you hit a draw, you don't you don't have to confirm it. So that's actually I'm gonna have to have to ask chess.com about that. Go here. Don't care about it, just play. Yeah, but I mean it that cost me the game because I because I, I lost two seconds there. Um that being said um next time that that happened next time i'm in a situation though i will actually try to flag jordan after that because he, sh he that should have been a draw so the next time that we're in a situation where we're both low on time i am going to make sure that i that i flag him in at least one game I'll, I'll flag him here your hair looks amazing in the wind yeah thank you okay let's go um and also go knight h Knight h1 is interesting, but I'm going to go knight e2 and knight f4 here. What does flag mean? Flag means when someone runs out of time. Flag is an old term. Yay! Flag is an old term that's based off of um, based off when we used to use analog chess clocks. Turn off confirm resign. Okay. Um, okay. So I turn it off. Okay. Go here and hit the bishop. I'm going to play f3, maybe g4 here. Hunter just took five dollars out of Bezos. Whoops, not king f2. Let's go here. Nakamura flash. Probably I'll play bishop d4, king f2, king e3. Not very special, but the position is balanced. Bring the king in, of course. But isn't that for resigning? Well, if I hit draw, it's gonna force a draw now, I assume. I don't really want to test it, honestly, but okay, I can play a4. I think I'm gonna go. I think a4 is just a mistake by me, but we'll see. Of course, I take with a bishop. Yeah, I've completely misplayed this game, too. Wait, or have I? I can take and drop. Okay, it's still, it's, I guess it's just a draw, but. Go here, attack the bishop. Goes to h7. Not bishop before. I guess I'll play knight e2, maybe knight e4 again. Not not really very special at all. But let's go here. Or did I just blunder? Okay. I mean, I'm trying to bring my king in. There's knight a4 here. There's there's king d2, knight d1. I go here to guard the pawn. I have f4 later. Maybe I'm okay here. I mean, again, I have knight c3. I can also play rook a1 and now knight c3 check. I think I'm actually better here. My civic broke down. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Sorry, my man. Sorry. Go here to offer the trade of the rooks. Of course, rook a7 was just a better move, but okay, whatever. Go. I mean, I feel like I'm better here, but how do I actually convert this? And I'm also getting low on time again, so this is a problem too. Okay, I guess I'll play g5. Which is also just a terrible move by me. Go here, put pressure on the pawn. Oh wait, no, I can't take the pawn away. Let's go. Go here and take, I guess. Now, I'm definitely going to flag in this game after what happened in the last game, if I can. Yeah, 
Yeah, now, now I'm now I'm gonna flag him. There we go. Checkmate. All right, let's go again. Thank you for Arpon Duck for the Prime. Thank you, Steve Z. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so that makes up for the last game. I told you guys that I would get him back with a flag. Now, if he had not, if the previous game had not been a flag, I would not have actually flagged him there. I would have taken the draw. But because of the previous game, I had to flag him. Let's play H6 here. It doesn't count. I want a flag. Yeah, let's go 94 here. More ads? What do you mean? Wait. No, I, that's that's not right. Um, okay, let's go here again. Okay, plays F3 first. Move, let's go back. Do I review fan games? I do that on YouTube. Yeah, I do. Um, okay, what do we get? Knight F4 here. I assume Queen A5 again is the move. C4 is also a move here. Um, <clears throat> let's think about this. Queen A5 is, is, of course, a fairly standard move here to play. I can take. I can also play Queen A4 here. C4 is also a move. It's not really the best move, per se. But I'll play it anyway, because why not? It's a move. You got robbed on the stream rewards, you guys. I'll talk about it later, but I, as, as the saying goes, I literally don't care. And more importantly, besides that, I said something that you guys should remember before the awards. Um, Wait, I can play... Wait, G6? One second. I said one thing before the awards, if you guys remember. which I said that if Levy won or if I won, I'd be very happy. So I am actually quite glad that one of the two of us did win the award. It is definitely good for chess at the end of the day. I'll say more about it later on, but let's leave it at that for the time being. Now, let's see. Knight g7, king f8 should be good, but hard to judge. Okay, it goes back to g3. So, of course, I'm going to play h5. Now we have a very strange, very strange position that I'm a little bit confused by. Um, you can always go bishop c1 later. I think I'm going to play knight f5 here and take and go like here, here, here. I want to go one, two, three and lock it. Was there ever any option? I mean... Maybe, maybe, maybe Levy was always going to win, and maybe I'm just insane for the way that I thought. But I really thought that it was very unlikely that um, th that actually Levy or I were going to win. I, I thought I thought it was very unlikely, very, very unlikely. Um, let's play an ID six here. Now, maybe I'm just insane. It, it is entirely possible that I, I completely am insane, and um, that wasn't the case. But once I, again, I can play B five here. Knight, just subscribe. Do I play B five here? I, I mean. I think I'm just gonna I can obviously I guess I'll go rook d8 I'm spending too much time here now here again I have b5 as a move yeah let's just go for this this probably is terrible but who cares yeah I think I'm just gonna go like queen c7 actually what am I doing here I mean I guess I have queen a5 queen a6 and I'm kind of okay Hard to judge. Okay. Um, and play rook b8. Yeah, rook b8, bishop d6 is no good. So I guess I'll go here. Please, bishop b4. I think I'm going to go queen a6 here. Okay, bishop d6. Actually, that's a good move. So let's go rook c8. I go back. If rook b7, I just take and block. Go here. I'm probably going to play king, D8, king e8 if I can in a move or two, depending. Again, very, very sketchy the way that I play this. Probably is not correct, but the show goes on. Okay, now, of course, I can take the bishop on d6. This is a big question whether I do or not. f6 also maybe a move, but again, I'm, I'm getting low on time. So let's just chill with rook d7, rook d8. Goes back. I mean, again... I think I'm just going to keep waiting. I'm just going to ask him what he's doing. Ah, he has bishop f6, which of course I didn't see at all. Now, I always have rook d7 here to hold. If he takes, I take. If he takes, I just take. This should be okay for me, but hard to judge. Got queen d6, I go here. 
go here. I mean, is there any way that I can win this? I don't think so, so I'm just going to play this. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Uh, am I blind or what? Let's play E4, Knight's 3. Rook takes C4 was the thing? Ah, maybe there was Rook takes C4 somewhere. I don't know. Possibly. Thanks for the Funko Uncle for the 34 and Butte of Hunter as well. Appreciate it. Thanks for the Butte of Hunter. Let's play G3 here. I don't know if he's one of his seconds still, but he did work with Magnus for sure. Um, does Magnus still seconds? Magnus had some seconds for his thing called the World Chess Championship match. Um, so, yeah, he, he kind of played a, a thing called the World Championship. Maybe that was like a year ago or something, but it, it was a thing once upon a time for Magnus. Let's go here in ninety one. So, okay, I can play F4. I can also play H4. Um, I'm going to play F4. I don't actually believe it's the correct move here, but it's it's a move nonetheless. Queen B6. Okay, now okay, I can go Bishop G2. A4 is kind of a weird move, so why not play it? I'm sure it's not a good move. So if, it's not, if I think it's not a good move, I got to play it. Okay, of course, I castle here. To H4. I can trade. I mean, b3 is also an idea somewhere. I don't know why I played a4. Actually, it doesn't really do anything for me, but it's a move. I'm going to go here, maybe knight b2, knight c4 if I can. I can always play h4 again later, but you know, if I go knight b2, takes knight c4, queen c7. I think knight b2 is actually a very good move here. Go here, trade. So I can take and play rook f5. I don't know if this is actually good, but it looks it looks good. I just take. Okay. Um, I can play b4, b5. That's very caveman-ish. It doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to play rook f1 here. Rook g5 also was a move as well, but hard to judge. I assume I'm better, but I don't actually know if I am. Now, do I trade or not? I think I do trade. I think I'm going to play here to force him to create weaknesses here with his pawns. He has to go g6. And now I think I start to expand on the queen side with b4. Oh, wait, no, actually, I have rook f7, which just wins. Aha, uh -huh, I have rook f7 and queen d8, which just wins the game. Never mind. I take, take, take with check, and then I come back and I win the game. Or I should win the game. It goes rook h8 instead. a5, a6 is looking very... Um... He wants to go f6, I guess. Is that his idea? That must be his idea. So maybe I play. I think I'm just going to go a5 anyway. If f6 is just queen, queen f5. g6 I just take. I have b4 here. I is g5, which of course I conveniently missed. I still should be fine here. I don't know if I'm better per se, but yeah, I have a6. Yeah, I'm totally bungling this. Yeah, I've completely messed this up. E5 is a move. I'm going to play Rook B1 here, maybe. Very tricky position. Thank you so much to Stones. Thank you so much to Kristoff. Thank you to Jay Oxborn, Puke Skywalker. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. By the way, am I mishearing these lyrics for anybody who's watching? Am I hearing them say shock you shock me like an electric eel, or am I just crazy? Um I guess I'll play A6. Am I am I just crazy? I, I swear. I swear I I'm hearing shock me like an electric eel, and I'm a little bit confused as to what that's supposed to mean. Oh, electric feel or something? Yeah. Okay, C4, I mean. I assume I have to play e5. Oh, I could have played rook a1 too, maybe first. Okay, one, rook a1 was actually the move. Yeah, I'm not super sharp here at the start. I mean, I'm still... Takes, I just take. Actually, takes, maybe I take on f6. I, I, I don't have to recapture. 
Electric feel and electric eel. Yeah, okay, so wait. So if I take queen h7, check, check, king b8, check. Okay, I'll just take. I don't even know if it's the right move, but I, I don't want to burn all my clock. You're going for some crazy long line. And I don't see any good moves here for black, really, because I cover h7. I mean, this should be winning. Go here. This should be winning. I go here and win the pawn, King G4. Take and then, yeah. I mean, yeah, just rook, rook G3 or rook D5. Actually, no, maybe I just push P here. I just push P and it's over. I have King E4, and this just wins. Or does it? the heck am I doing? Did I just find a way to mess this up too? What the heck? Ah, shoot. There we go. Things of Pietro, terrible. H4, H5. I mean, my technique was abysmal. Play Knight of Six. My technique is so bad. I mean, that was such an easy win. Rook and two versus Rook and one. No, I'm, I'm mad at myself. That was horrible. So let that get there. Okay, he goes Knight C3. So I have multiple lines here that I can play. I can take on C4. I can play C5. I'm going to play b6. It's not the best line, but it's still a move. Take. Kind of want to just get Jordan out of theory and just play chess. Um, a6 is a move. C6 also a move. A5 is the more extravagant move. So let's play more on the extravagant side. Um, let's go here and c6. Did I? Was there a rook? He hung a rook. I didn't hang a rook. Is h4 logical? Bishop d6 is a move here that I can play. Knight c7 and knight e6 also very reasonable here. Try to reroute the knight to target the bishop. G4, wow. Some real new age chess by Jordan here, just pushing these pawns on the king side. Or he's tilted. He could be tilted too. I didn't think about that possibility. Let's just go here and trade some knights. Hitting the pawn on H4. Okay, I take. I'm gonna take with a bishop, I assume. Takes with a pawn, another move that I wasn't really expecting. This is getting very weird. Um I feel like he's maybe on tilt, but I'm not sure. I'm going to play g6, f5, and gf is also a line, but I don't know. Hard to judge what's going on here in this position. Very, very hard to judge. Things so much that Don BC McGee for the six months. Appreciate it. Now, knight g7 is my initial idea to go for either square. I have d4 and bishop a6 here. I mean, it's getting very, very dank. I'm going to play d4 and d3, maybe. I have knight h5 here to target the bishop. It's a move. I can also just play d3 and just keep pushing p. And I think pushing p is the right way to play this. I have queen d4, bishop c5. Somehow this should be good for me. But I need to be precise with my moves here. And undoubtedly, I won't be. I can also play queen d4, queen b2. But that looks a little bit silly. 96, 94, also a line. I guess I'll just go here. I, I mean, I'm using way too much time. But I want to go 94. That's my idea, at least. Let's see what he does. Knight of three. I assume I go 94, of course. And we just trade. Can take b2, but I'm going to go to d8. d2 is still a very big threat potentially with bishop a6. He goes f5, which. I can also go bishop a6, maybe. I want to go just d2. It's very rudimentary and basic, but I think this is good for me. It might not be, but it looks good. Thank you so much to Crazy Man for the 23. Thank you so much to. Uh, Snoopy for the 16. Thank you so much to the loneliest guitar as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the loneliest guitar. 
So yeah, three and a half, two and a half. I mean, slowly warming up after that horde first. You know, if I go D2, Rook C2, takes, takes. I mean, again, very dank. I can also take F5 first. I can also play F6. So many options here, and I don't want to burn my whole clock. So I guess that means... Um, what does that mean? I guess I'll take... Go here. So I have queen d4 here. I mean, I should be okay. This pawn is very advanced as well. So I think I'm doing well. I think I'm, I'm just much better. Let's go here. Target this. D2. Page 3. I can obviously play e5. It's scary to play e5. I don't want to. Oh, I can... Actually, I can just eat the juicer. And eat the juicer. And I go king h8 and queen g5 and queen h6 and I'm safe. I think. Or no, I'm not safe. He has queen e5, which of course completely missed as well. Horrible. Absolutely horrible by me. Oh, and now I just wanted rook c7 too. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just woefully off. Missing everything. Yeah, I'm missing everything today. Terrible. All right, I'm going to play like one more and stop because I'm, I'm actually, I, I shouldn't be playing Jordan at the rating he's at anyway, but I'm all, on, on top of him being low rate, I'm also not playing very well. Um, okay, let's play D3 here and I'll play G3 and Bishop G2. Yeah, this will be the last game, I think, because I'm not playing well. As you guys can tell, when every move, when every move is coming as a surprise, that is a very, very bad sign. When every, move is, when every move is coming as a surprise and it's actually a natural move, that's, that's a sign that you're not really there. Let's go rookie one knight, a four next move I can always take. Jordan is just better. Well, the problem is his rating is way too low. That's actually the biggest problem. Jordan's rating at 2986. I mean, his rating should probably be like 3,050 at least. Let's play h4. I think h5 is a bad move. Of course, considering the way I'm playing, probably it'll turn to a great move. Sub count? Sub count? What sub count? Doing well. Being so much TV mass, what do you mean? What? Uh, okay. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Um, you can play knight g5. Knight g5 is the way to be aggressive here. Knight g5 is a way to be very aggressive where I try to sack pieces. Um, I mean, it's probably good, but considering how poorly I'm playing, do I really want to do it? Or I can just play like... I'm just going to play bishop b3, which I bet is a bad move. Not a bad move, but not the best move. I'm betting knight g5, and I'm, I'm much better there. It's knight a5, which looks... Wrong. Now, again, he's begging me to play... Well, I can maybe go C4 here. Yeah, let's just go for this. I mean, this should be really good for me. I have D's knights with the sacks. D5 is very weak as well due to the diagonals. This looks very good for me. This should be pretty good for me, but we'll see. I mean, if he takes, I'll just pre-move this. I don't think he will. I should play Levy in one minute, one minute bullet chest. Thank you. That's uh, exciting. There's, there's no good reason for that, you guys. There, there's no upside and only downside. I, I, don't like the, I, don't, I don't like such propositions. Okay, so of course I take and take on E6 here. Um, and this, this has to be just winning for me. I mean, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. Okay, wait. So I have knight d5. I can take on f7 too. I mean, even knight g6 looks crushing. b4 is good. Bishop d5 is good. Knight d5 is good. I mean, these knights just too strong. These bishops also really, really good as well. Now, knight e7 is winning. Knight f5 just looks like more materials here. All right. Why did I start another game? Whatever. Okay, let's play d5. Um... Let's play here on Bishop B4. Yeah, there's there's no there's no there's no upside. There, there's there's first of all, I'm just giving Levy free content. Um, because if I lose a game, of course I'll make a video out of it. Secondly, if I don't win all 10 games, that's also very bad as well. If I don't if I don't win all 10 games, then uh then it's a poor performance. So there's really no good there's no good outcome there to to it. If if I win all 10 games, it's like okay, that's to be expected. If I lose a game, of course that's terrible. So what's the point? There is there actually is no real good point. So I'm going to go queen a5, c4 again. Let's go c4. If knight h5, just g6. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll play bishop d7 again. Now, this last game, what did I, I allowed bishop c1 a3, right? I allowed some weird bishop c1 a3, which is not particularly good. Um, let's just castle here. Castle or f6? f6 is interesting, but I... Okay, whatever. Stop thinking too long. Let's just castle. Queen b1. Um, now, I can play f6 here already. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to play f6, try to chip away at the structure. He has knight g6, rook g8. Have I ever beat Magnus in a chess game by checkmate? No, I have not, because the top level players don't play the game out to checkmate. I don't think so, at least. Maybe there's some blitz game. Maybe I've had a blitz game where, where it's happened, but not, not over the board for sure. Maybe there's been a blitz game where it's happened. Maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Let's go here, trade some knights. I don't think it's happened, but maybe. I mean, it's some. there's some chance that we've had some mad scramble where both of us have, have had like five seconds on the clock and then someone just walks into like a one mover, but I don't think so. It's a good question. Has Magus ever gotten a checkmate against me? I don't think so there either, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if in some, some kind of crazy... Crazy wild end game has happened. Wait, that's just a blunder. Okay, let's take. Savidler does play to checkmate. Yes, Peter Savidler is one of those guys who does actually play games out to checkmate. So I do give him a lot of credit. Um, because sometimes he does it just out of like the spirit. But most most people don't do that. So Bishop D1, E5 is a move, Knight of Five is a move. I am better here, but it's weird because it's not trivial to prove somehow. I think I'll go knight f5. He can play queen b4 and we just trade. I go d4 and that should just be great, but we'll see. Rook f2, logical. Knight g3 is a move, but I think just queen c5. Okay, f4. What's the idea, actually? I want to think here. I don't want to just blunder this. Knight g3 or knight d6 are both moves. I think I'll just go here. Knight e4, very simple idea. And if bishop f3... I think I go e5, actually. Yeah, I trade, and I go here. Trade and work f4. He's going to resign. Okay, good. Another quick win. Thanks so much to KinVW for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. 13 ads. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, that's life. So this will be, what, 9? So I guess I do have to play one more after this, and then we'll call it. Then we'll, then we'll call it a match. Okay, now I can take F2, but I I think I just take the pawns here. I, I think just taking the pawns is much simpler than anything else. I mean, it's it's two pawns. Pawns are loose on the um, on the queen side a little bit. Do I play A6 or B6? Also an interesting question. It doesn't really matter. So let's just go here. Probably rook F8. King D6 looks solid. Now, I can obviously sack if I want to, but because of how poorly I've been playing so far, there is pretty much zero chance that I actually do that. Um, let's just go here. If I, if, I was play, if I was playing well, I would just sack, but I'm not playing well, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's go here, guard all the pawns. Go here. If takes, I just take. That's a free pawn. I will take it. G4, just bishop f7. Yeah, now he'll, now probably Jordan will resign, because now he's down down three pawns. So one last one. All right, let's play e4. Good, g3, d3. Had pasta for lunch, all pasta is good. Pasta is pretty good, but it's also very, uh, it's very heavy. When I do want to trade. You don't want to eat pasta or like a, a steak before a serious game of chess. I will say that. Like, if you do that, that is one of the bigger mistakes you can make. Um, now I can play knight f2 here. Um, I can always trade. I can also go f5, which I hate. h4 is a move. h4 is probably a bad move, but but I kind of want to do it anyway. But that's that's not how I should play chess. So why am I thinking so long then? Um, yeah, I'm suddenly thinking for 20 years here. What's wrong with me? Um, I guess I just got to move. 
Of course, knight f2 is also a pretty terrible move as well. But he gives me h4, though. Now my knight at least covers a square. I think if he had just traded, and then he would have been doing really well. But now I get a great op. I can cast with the king side. Position's actually fairly decent here. But I did waste 20 seconds in order to get that. A5, I mean, that looks... I don't know. It doesn't look like a good move to me. But how do I activate my pieces? My knight on f2 isn't right. Um, stop thinking, just move. Now, I can obviously trade on e5 if I want to. Wait, can I take in queen a5? There's knight d3. Okay, and if I go b4 here... Yeah, I think I'm going to play b4. I'm kind of curious to see what's happening a little bit. Knight a4. Do I trade and play queen f4? Or do I just take? I'm just going to take and play a6 probably. Or knight... D Wait, actually I have knight d1 too. Maybe a6 first. Okay. Let's go a6, see if he's going to take. Plays b5, then I probably play knight d1. And I think actually Jordan's tilting just a little bit here. He's not like major tilting, but he is tilting a little bit. I can feel I can feel it in his play. Let's go here, trade these knights. If not, I take and get rook f5. I cover g4. I've got an open file. I mean, open open files for the towers. Really, really good position here. And if takes, I will take with the rook. And his knight is worse than the bishop. His king is kind of open. I've got two open lanes. I've got this open lane. I've got this open lane. This should be pretty good for me. Uh, doesn't mean it's like winning or anything, but it looks pretty terrible. Let's go here on queen c5. Although, again, the knight is dominated by the bishop. I did allow c5, which was fairly stupid. But I get a great queen placement here. And now it's going to be very hard for Jordan to survive this. Very, very hard, actually. I think, I think he's in a lot of trouble here. I don't know how he's supposed to survive this. He can take, but then I take with a rook. Then rook f5. Now rook b8. Now if I trade... Rook b8, rook b8, f5, queen e5. Now this looks bad. If I take, and then I have rook f5. Or do I take first? No, I think I go here. Because now all the pawns are too loose, and no bueno. No, no bueno. Walter Brown used to offer free steak dinners before his matches. Yes. Um, now if e5, there's queen c6. Rook c5 is a pretty good move here, just with rook c7. I mean, I also have rook c6 as well with the right triangle. Yeah, rook c6 is a very problematic right triangle for my opponent. And rook c7, and the fork with e5, and the bad knight. And what more do you want? So we get the win. Um, he wants to play, so I'll play him two more. So let's play two more. Let's keep playing the French. Let's play d5. Let's go knight f6. Okay, classic. Or no, he plays e5. So let's go knight d7. Play c5. Play knight c6. And rook b8 here. Very, very old line played by Victor Korchnoi, the former challenger for the World Chess Championship. I mean, I, I, want it, I want him to just blow me away in one game, and then I'll feel good just stopping, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's play f5. Although, f5 is also not a great move. We go c3. I guess I'll just develop then. Probably I go b5 here. Or do I play a5? I think I'm going to play a5 instead. And then probably I play b6. Or do I go b5 anyway? I think I'm just going to play b6 here. And probably bishop a6. This castle now. Is he really playing g4? Maybe, maybe not. b5 always a move. cd4 obviously a move. Bishop e2 is a move. Don't want to burn too much time here trying to figure it out. Hard, very, very hard to judge. Yeah, I got, I got to play something though. That's the bottom line. I can't just sit around all day. I'm going to go rook a8, which of course is a ridiculous move, but who cares? And now I can go a4 maybe and bishop e2. Or not. Did I just hang a pawn? I did, but he doesn't take it. So I get a little bit of a break. Go here. I want to go bishop d3. Maybe bishop c4. Maybe knight b3. How do I do this? It's actually a little bit tricky. He goes a4. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. But I am down on time here. And I don't have a... It's not super easy to play this position. We'll just go here in rook h8, maybe. Buff one. Okay, of course I'll trade. He takes. Logical. I'm going to go here, hit the bishop. E1. 
guess I should just play b5. Why not? It makes the most sense here to try and go b4. I guess I'll pre-move this. I mean, I'm either going to get mated on the h file or I'm probably going to win on the queen side. I don't know which one's going to happen. He takes on, takes there, which somehow actually really surprised me. I did not expect that. Um, does it matter which pawn I take? Probably not. Um, does it actually matter? I go ba3 what's happening i guess i'll just take he has knight d4 but i have knight c5 and i think i'm okay there's c6 wow that's not a move i expected okay, i think i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna take this pawn and i'm gonna i'm just gonna go all in go a3 a2 i'm, I'm really pushing the p here i mean these pawns are really really fast we'll see if it works or not but i think i'm winning if knight f5, I just take the g pawn. I have knight e3 somewhere also. I mean, maybe I should have played knight e3 and then a3. I suspect I should have taken and then gone a3, because then a3, a2 is very strong. But, okay, whatever. It's still probably winning, because he can't stop them both. Thank you so much to Pedro Goncalv again for the 25 months. Thank you so much to Pedro. Yeah, he takes. Now, I can take with the e pawn, but I think I take with the g pawn. He's got to go h6, but I think after king f7, I'm just dodging bullets. I can also go king g8, but if I go king f7, if g6, I just eat the juicer. Now, I can also just play rook g8, rook g6, and lock it up. All right, he's knight d4. He wants to take on f5. If I push p again with a2, knight e6, king e6 is fine, queen f5 is nothing. I don't see it. He's got to show me the money because these pawns are really, really fast. Either he mates me right here or he loses the game. There's no in-between. And I think he loses the game. I don't think he can stop them. He can't stop them for sure. So either he mates me or he loses. But he takes. So now make a queen. Because now I'm threatening to win the knight and the... I mean, there's just nothing. Okay. Play the Van Geet opening with knight c3 on move one. He plays d5. I can play e4, go back and do a Scandinavian. Dash PC so we'll go back to the Scandinavian. Tips for de-rusting? Things with dash PC for the 11s. Tips for de-rusting. Um, uh, that's a tough one. I, at your level, I don't, I don't actually know what I would recommend. Like 1900, hard to judge. Yeah, that's the, the Van Geet. This will be the last one, I think. I think this will be the last one. Plays h5. I can take the pawn if I want to. But I really don't want to. So how do I not take the pawn and still be okay here? h4 is not a great move. Knight f5 is a very weird move that I think is kind of playable. I'm going to go knight f3. I think I'm going to go knight f5. I also have e5. Hmm. I also have just a knight e2, actually. Why not just back? I just win the pawn. Of course, he does have e5, and I feel fairly stupid, but I think I'm still okay. I can castle play like 91 somewhere. Kind of playable. Uh, needs more phlegm in the G for the Dutch viewers. Van Geet. Van I, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Van Geet sounds right to me. I mean, it sounds pretty cool, actually. Van Geet. I, I don't know. You're saying I need it needs more G. Okay. I, 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 it's like and it's like one of those things where it's like instead of more, more G, more cowball, you need more G. Um, I, I don't know how I'm to pronounce it, but it's a guttural G. Geet? Geet? I, I, okay, you guys, I, I don't know what you're asking. But anyway, okay. Um, let's play knight e1 here. He castles. I can play bishop b3 just to hit the pawn on f7. I want to go f3 somewhere. But yeah, I, I don't know what you're asking. G is the sound like when you spit in your toothpaste. Okay. That's um very, very, very important. I, I really needed to know that, you guys. Let's go a3 here. My knights are pretty horrible, by the way, on e2 and e1. That is a big issue I have. Um, I don't really want to trade. So how do I activate my knights? I'm kind of running out of space here is the big issue. Um, I guess I'll play c4 here. I don't even know if it's a good... Probably it's not a good move. I mean, I also locked the bishop in. He does play end peasant, so of course I take with the pawn because I can't let him get knight d4. 
It's not a great position, but my bishops are kind of okay here. Kind of being the keyword. Um, now I have multiple capsules I'll just take with the F pawn. I guess I'll go here and probably queen D2 or queen C2 next move. I don't know which square to go to, but one of the two squares. Knight G8, interesting. Very interesting move. Um, he just wants to develop the bishop in the knight. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Data scientist um, just subscribed. Thank you so much to Data Scientist Ikaro for the resub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, okay, how do I do this exactly? Bishop G8 is a move. I'm getting really low on time already. Um... I'm just going to go for d4. Probably it's bad, but I'm going to go for it. Wow, it just ignores it. Um, wait a second. Knight f3 is a move, but I think I'll just go d5 here. Knight a5. I mean, this is actually pretty ugly. What? Oh, he's queen c6 and queen c2. Bishop c5. And this is pretty... Oh, wait. And actually... Just wait. So if I go here, maybe... Trying to get a little bit sneaky, maybe. Hitting everything all at the same time. Five. Wait, so if I take. He has bishop e2, I guess. Takes. Okay, now I'm just up a pawn, up, up a piece, temporarily at least. I mean, I'm covering the checkmate on g2 with my knight. Knight d3. Oh, knight d3 is a great move. Er, it's a good move. Maybe it's not the, a great move, but it's it's a pretty good concept. Um, I'm also somehow way too low on time, I just realized, so I just have to move and hope. Okay, bishop c5. Of course, another move that I completely missed. Oh, that's... oh wait, there's just, just mate and one. What am I doing? All right. Terrible. Yeah. Probably it's just a bad opening, though. Unlucky, no. That he actually... And it's funny, because I literally said, you guys... I said that, basically, when he played a really good game and I get blown away, I would stop. And I, I didn't stop. So this... Yeah. Okay, last one. Last one. Yeah, I, I, I said that. I basically said, like, as soon as I get blown away and plays a really good game, I'll stop. And, of course, I don't stop. Addiction? Welcome to chess. Chess is addiction. Go here, 94 and f5. I should have played 94 right away, of course. It goes 92 right away. I think this allows queen h4, though. Takes now. I feel like I played a game against um, one of the computers, and it took on e4 and just crushed me on the f file somehow. But seeing as I don't, I don't remember, and I'm obviously not 3500. Is that intentional or a mouse slip? I'm going to assume that's intentional. I, I think he's trying to be funny with king e2 and play a bond cloud. I think he's trying to be funny, but I could be wrong. Okay, so he takes... Um, now, check is not a move. Knight f6 is what I think I'm going to play. I mean, I'm trying to go like queen h6 and just kill him on the king's side. I think, I think, that, I think that he intended to do this, though, to be clear. I think this was intentional. Okay, now I can play queen g5 check, I guess. Queen h6 maybe was better, actually. Let's go here. G1. E8. If h4, I think I just go like queen f4, maybe. He was hoping queen h6, he would get g4. Maybe I should have allowed it so I could go queen f4, but we'll see. We'll see. D1. Now, e5 looks like a human move. He wants bishop c1 somewhere in here, so I understand what he's angling for. Funny thing is, even though this looks like I should be much better here, I'm probably not actually better. Okay, but I don't want to burn all my clock. If I go e5, d e5, I think I'm going to go e5, and I'm going to play like knight h5 and knight g3. Again, don't know if this is actually good, but it's worth a shot, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it. Of course, I missed rook d4, yeah. I'll go here to trade the queens. Now, if he takes, I think I have tricks with rook e1. I can also just take the rook and come back to g3. And plays rook h3. Ugh. 
Yeah, this isn't what I wanted to do, but I have to kind of. I'm maybe very slightly better here, but very, very slightly better. Just Go here. Go Hikaru. If I'm even better at all, which I'm probably not. Um, Got to stop H5. Hopefully rookie six here, maybe. H5, target the rook. Of course, not a good move either. Not good. King G3, I guess I'll go here. Maybe rook G6 is a move somewhere. You can take with the rook, and it's probably just a draw, but I don't really have anything better to do than taking with the rook, so... I guess I'll... Okay, goes rook d4. Uh, what, what's happening? Um... I'll go here. King f7, of course. Go here. I think I'm going to try to push here, maybe. I don't actually know what I'm doing here, but... Yeah, this will probably just be a draw. Um, wait, I got to focus, though. Uh... Oh, did I just blunder this? I just did, didn't I? Again, it asked me to make it asked me to, to offer the draw, which is really annoying. This course is a complete draw. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, that, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, those last two games were really shaky by me. No, no, those last two games were really shaky. Um, really, really shaky. So, unfortunate because my rating was starting to get back to respectability, but still, good, good result. That's like 12 games or so. Let's see who else is online. Uh, Raunak is online. I'll challenge Raunak too if he wants to play some Blitz. I think I'm just going to play some Blitz, and then we're probably going to cover the... Um, Cover the Cease Chess Champions Tour event, which starts in about one hour, or a little less than one hour.